Hey everyone, Dr. Baron Grutter here. So um, I'm not going to pick up where I left off with this last video. I don't know if you already watched it. If, you, if you're watching later and you're just getting into this, I already made a video talking about how to make this retainer. In that video, I also had a false tooth here, but we're going to skip that for now. It's just not really relevant for this. Um, I mean, it could be, but it would it would carry on with the same technique. It, it would This technique would be used with that as well. Um, having the tooth there just doesn't really matter for now. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you, um, basically, I thought, well, what about indexing? I mean, it is, will index well because it fits intimately, but I mean, teeth are fairly smooth, so you could slide it a little bit. And well, what, how do we make this easy to see so that we're not like having our fingers so full trying to like hold this in place? And you know, it, it can be a pain um, if you've ever seen one of these before, like a you know a a custom retain a custom, a custom um, uh, lingual retainer. So you usually you have some sort of seating jig. So I'm going to make a seating jig. So here we go, and it's maybe not going to be the conventional way you might think. So maybe this, maybe you already know what I'm going to do here. So first of all, this model is pretty crappy. Um, I apologize for that. So I'm going to smooth up a couple of areas just because ideally you wouldn't have this raggedy data here. Um, so I'm just going to use a sculpt. I'm going to use a smooth brush, and I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to make this way smaller. Oh, I'm in the wrong model. There we go. No wonder. Um, okay. So I'm just going to smooth this off a little bit right here. Just pretend these were already, you know, relatively smooth just to make this video a little bit easier. Um, I've actually tried this once before making the video to make sure it would work. And I did not smooth that in the video and it still worked. I'm just doing this because I think it just, I don't know, I want to. Um, okay. So at this point, all I need to do is I'm going to hit the select button just like we did when we made the pads, but now we're gonna make some rest seats on these other teeth. And we want these pretty big. Now, you might be thinking, oh, I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna, you know, bridge these over and, and kind of lap them over to it, and we'll just have to kind of cut these off the mop, off the retainer. And you know, honestly, that was my first idea. So let's go ahead and hit B to make nice smooth things here. Hit OK, now we've got these nice smooth pads. I can hit Y. And now, just like in the last video, let me go ahead and hide this. I hit Control A, and I can hit D to extrude, edit, extrude. Um, again, just hit the D button. And I'm gonna make these nice, big, one millimeter thick. Hit Accept. Now the undersides are still highlighted, so I gotta hit Escape to unhighlight those. I'm gonna hit Select again. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so I don't fall off. Double click. Double click, double click, double click. Now I can come over here to deform and I'm gonna hit smooth. You can smooth this however much you want. About the middle of here is kind of nice. Again, the undersides are still intimate and I fit right on there and hit accept. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit you know, escape, clear selection. Let's turn that retainer back on and here's a retainer. And now you're thinking, okay, so now I gotta, you know, use the tube handle or use, use a, you know, whatever, uh, an actual tube to merge these together, but I'm not. I am not going to do that. And here's why. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click here. I'm going to click, hold the control button, select this, and I'm going to click combine. I'm going to make this into one object, one STL. I'm going to go ahead and hit export, go to my desktop, and just make this... Um, Let's see, let's just make this uh, fixed retainer three. Obviously I had tested this out before. So fixed retainer three, hit save. And now I'm gonna come over to Rayware. Now this is what you probably already know what I'm gonna do now, but if you don't, it's gonna be cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and say new. Well, I need to add, a, add an object, go to my desktop and find that fixed retainer three and here it is now you get this erratic looking retainer how are you gonna print this well we certainly don't want it like this because we don't want the supports on the intaglio so we're gonna flip it over but that's also gonna help us in another way okay so we've got this inverted in fact I feel like yeah, it doesn't yeah no I want it just like this, okay? So now, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add supports. Click on this guy, 
I want low density, medium strength, I like it on the road, and I'm going to say generate selected. Here we have it. I can print this off, pop this off, keeping it all intact. I can insert it into the patient's mouth as is. All I have to do is place cement here, 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 here. These rest seats will keep it nice and intact. Everything's all interlocked together. And now all I have to do is go back and clip off the supports. Voila. All done. Don't have to, not, not to work very hard. They'll most likely peel right off. And these will come off right with it because they're not even bonded to the teeth. I hope that that's helpful. And yeah, there you have it. There's your easily two seat split, uh, fixed retainer. All right, guys. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you want any more videos. Uh, BaronGrutterDDS.com is my website. All right, thanks a lot. Bye for now.